Evening, guys. If anyone's there, how are they going? Just figured I'd let you watch me uh, paint for a bit. I hope you can see. So I'm just getting all the wash on the trim for these things. It's just the light for you a little bit. That's better, that, isn't it? What are people up to tonight? Is anyone else doing any painting? Tonight, no music, nothing in the background. You can all hear me to speak. How's that? There we go, quite happy with that. Oh, I've not painted the back of that. What a super cabbage. How's it going, everyone? Four of you. Just so you can see <clears throat> before and after. Obviously, this one's just got darker line on it. Just getting the shade in. When you're doing the shade, just you just got to be really careful in in these bits here, just to make sure you, you get the line nice and crisp. Yeah, don't let the the wash just do what it wants. Yeah, people go on about freaking magic wash or magic paint does everything for you it doesn't you know because it'll just as easily screw you over if you let it you know so you've got to make sure you know what you're doing you know so don't just let washes um, go where they want and how they want and then on a completely different angle you know I go on about it's not about the greatest brush in the world you know what what's this It's made in China it's got a rubber handle. It's nylon bristles are all bent at the end. You know, it's giant. You know, look at it in comparison to this, like roughly size one. You know, it's it's giant. You know, so I'm using that as me uh, as me wash brush. It was just in my hand, so I'm just using it, and I figured, you know, if I'm gonna do that. I might as well show you guys what I'm doing. So near the black, I kind of don't need to worry that much because I'm going to do the black black later anyway. You know, so redo it. But on this on this chrome color, I need to be extra careful. So just watch how, how I use the brush to get that line nice and sharp. You know, and that's this big cumbersome horrible. Well, it's not horrible, obviously. I still won't be using it, I suppose. The point is, it's, it's a really inexpensive thing. These are, probably don't cost a lot of money in some pound shop somewhere. And there I am, getting nice clean lines out of it. You know, so if I'm getting nice clean lines out of it, well, so can you guys. You know, there's nothing special about me. I just make different decisions. You know, so that's an analogy for life at the end of the day, you know. Just make better decisions and you get a better life. And that much I do know. 
Can you all see okay, by the way? I'm trying to paint in such a way so you can uh, all see what I'm doing. I'll, I'll go through in a minute and see who's, see who's popped up. And uh, see if you've got any questions as well. There you go. Nice. So I'll just get the, the general body of each part of the trimming. Notice how I don't let any of these edges dry. I make sure I do a full panel before stopping. Yeah. Oh, I've still missed the back of that one as well. What a cab cabbage. And then I'll go in before it all dries and I'll just get that clean edge in around the border in a small puddle as possible. There we go. Notice I'm using all my fingers for support as well. I've got a quite close grip. I'm not holding it there because the grip says you must hold it there. No, I hold it right closer. That gives me more control. Oops, a bit heavy there, so I'll take it off. There we go. Nice one. Now, I'll wang the wash around this. Again, I don't need to be too pussy around that bit because it's black and I'm going to paint it black later on. Get the main body of that like fleur de lisy type detailing like a cotton bud I think it is. There's some more like that. Spiky cotton bud. There you go, just get the edge in there. Make a nice clean line in there. Spin it around. Right, nice one. Let's get the underneath of all these and just smash it in. That'll do. But I'll go back and neaten all this up at a later point anyway. Um, so I'm not too bothered about the underneath. Um, nice one. We'll put some of that bolt gun metal left here so I can do that bit, which I forgot. There we go, go back. Boom, boom. that one dry, get the back of this one in, there nice one, easy peasy, and if I feel like uh, adjusting that some more in a little bit, then I will do, wow there's 12 people watching me, I didn't realise, let's see who's in, it's just going to scroll through, wow loads of y'all wavy, Let's wave back at y'all. So if it's all trembly. Wave at Mr. Isaac. Wave waves. Loads of waves. Douche. Douche. Skull Crusher. One of my favourite Megadeth songs, that. No, it's Head Crusher. Sorry, I'm lying. Good evening. I'm going to show that paint who's boss all year. All right, hello everyone. All right, you're all doing really good, aren't you? Well, I like the fact you've all turned up. Can you all see okay? By the way, is 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 it all good? Is it all good? So I'm not going to be doing anything exciting. I don't. Well, I don't think. this brush that kind of made me want to just show you guys as well and, and go live again tonight I just just want to show that again don't need expensive stuff to be good just good decision making you know like for example I was just getting the, the wash in this gap here instead of trying to just go in like this actually line the brush up yeah and I'd get the brush in optimal position I don't worry about getting wash on this side I'm just worried about being neat on that side where some people be like oh god be dead careful no I just get in let the brush fall in there bang done so 
Yeah, just just little sensible decisions like that. Um, let's do some of these knee panels. I've got four of these to do. Uh, I'm on a brush. Now these are pretty pretty small. These so I might actually change brushes for this, but we'll see. I'm gonna have a go. Ah, it's looking all right. There we go. You see how I just let the side of the brush fall in that gap. Right, let's turn around here. And hopefully then you'll be more over my shoulder. Is that better? Yeah, that's well better. See, I got that nice neat line there. Yeah. Notice my breathing relaxes as well as I do it. I was going through my own cool me on that gallery today for the first time in so long, potentially even years. Uh, I was looking at where I was ranked on cool me. That was interesting. I don't think people even do that anymore, do they? Um, but I was looking at some of my old models because like in my last like Instagram thing, I was feeling a little bit insecure, and I have done for a while about how good a painter I am or or not. I was looking at some of the stuff I'd done in the past, some of the historical stuff, and it's like kind of going over some of the memories for it. Um, and actually, I'd done stuff that was cool, and I hadn't realised I'd done like some of the historical things, like like I did a Templar Knight um, and a couple of World War Two busts. Just made me realise that I'd done some. Pretty diverse things. So yeah, if you just go and Google my name and call me now or not and see. See for yourself, if you've not already seen. I'll spam them with a load of ones. There we go. One of them done. I'll just show you a before and after. See this one's all shiny. This one's more defined. There we go. One down. How do I get it off this now without getting washed all over myself? Do I have to use a new thing out? Uh, let's see what folks say. Yeah, cool mini on it is less relevant in it. You know, but there's still some cool things there. You know. <clears throat> I mean just go and look in the top hundred. You know, it's it's uh there's some amazing things in there. I say the top hundred, you know. You get go slightly out you'll see me. You know. I used to be in the top hundred, not anymore. Well that's what you get for not updating you gallery for however long um chip, chip, chip. what am i doing here now let's get one of these shove this on it there we go do it up one right who's working on what talk to me people In fact, who's local and who wants to come on my Speed Demon Challenge? I say who's local. Get a road trip organised. You know, come down, spend the day. Get a few of you. 
make a load of uh, Golden Speed Demon videos. I'm up for that. Right, you can all see, yeah. Bring it over the top. If you notice from your videos, I uh, I'm fewer longer, smoother strokes. I don't sit here going, yeah, yeah, You know, it makes everything worse when you paint like that. But one, that's all you need. Get it in. One, that's all you need. Yeah, sometimes, like if I'm going in here, I might need to dab a couple of times to get in and around the rivets. But ultimately, one. That's all you need. Now let's get the edges in. I'll probably go out of a smaller brush and strengthen all these edges later on. And by probably, I mean definitely. I'll do that at a weathering stage. Don't worry about it now. Sometimes see a little dab there just to get that black line going. Some point soon I'll start um, doing some more complex and potentially impressive things so you can get to see how I do paint on a deeper level. But right now it's all about nights and my kill team board and then I think I'll do my uh, what do you call it harlequins and you can see how I do checkers and all that business there checkers diamonds same thing and you get some thoughts on that because I think that's a they're a greatly misunderstood thing how to do checkers and diamonds About ideas in people's heads. Ideas. If you think something about painting is hard, ask yourself, have I literally just overthought this? Have I just convinced myself it's hard? Pretty wise man said that is fear disguised as practicality. So I think it's easy when you know how. That's the trick in it know how there's knowledge involved as opposed to lots of practice and like kind of blindly trying to blindly waiting what I mean is there's decisions you can make that will make you a better painter as opposed to skills and you'll hear me go on about it a lot but you know so like things like I just changed the brush angle there you know chose the angle that mostly uh, benefited the way the brush and the model parts fit together you know chose that angle deliberately that angle deliberately this angle deliberately I'm not just trying to paint any old owl like you see some people will they'll start painting they'll be going like that and then we try to move around the model and it's just like well, why don't you move the model around to suit you it sounds dead obvious but the amount of people that don't do it I think what's interesting, what I've just realised is chatting to you guys and painting at the same time makes it feel less of uh, a task, a challenge. And I thought it'd take ages getting through four of these. Again, this is that fear disguised as practicality thing. I convinced myself it was going to be a bit of a an evening evening's work, but actually, it's gone pretty quick. Yeah, all hail a painting group where you can just chill out. And the <clears throat> let's uh, yellow muzzle snarling wolf. Oh, let me. Oh wow, you've all been busy here. Wow, let, let's 
Do you know what, right? I'm going to go back through all the comments in a minute. Um, let me get this last one on. I'm going to pick up the speed now. You can see what I'm like when I'm uh, motoring on. Try to be less obvious. You've watched me do. Uh, you've watched me do three already. Make sure there's not too much of my brush. Take these puddles away because they're a bit of a bitch. One. Change. Two. Change. Around. Around. Take that puddle away. Around. 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 Been watching some old 90s manga recently because I really like it. I like uh, a lot of the cyberpunk style stuff. So if anyone's got anything to recommend, I'd really like that. What I've been listening to, what I've been watching is a uh, cyber o Oedo 808. O E D O 808. Um, proper, proper enjoy that one. Watched it about five or six times now while I've been painting. But the thing is, with a lot of manga, it's just crap. Some of it's got some amazing imagery and amazing ideas in it, so if you've got any you can recommend, I'd really like that. Lovely. Cool. Happy with those. I'm just going to take this brush here and just take out that little bit of wash. Again, I decide what the wash does, not the wash. Yeah, you decide what the wash does, not the wash. Stop letting wash do, do what it wants don't it doesn't perform miracles it only performs miracles if you know how to perform miracles with it yeah i like that i like that uh, okay let's put them uh, out of the way here to dry shut that up hello <laughs> Right, let's see what some of you got to say. Let's say uh, illuminate me. Do be do 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 do. Right, let's. Uh... Relic Blade Studio Commission. What's Relic Blade? Tag means something. Relic Blade uh, later on. Uh, painting kill team buildings. All the way down in Plymouth, so Fairwell Drive. Yeah, well, get in touch with a few people down there. I think um, there's a few guys from the Heavy Metal, Heavy Metal uh, painting group. They're all down there. Um, who else is down there? Damien Pedley, Peter Bell, um, Phil Walsh. Um, I think Mr. Stephen Forty Hayden, he's down there. Yeah, a load of people, a load of painters down there. So do a shout out. Do a shout out in the heavy metal painting group. Um, top bunch of guys. Um, Kill Team Buildings, I've got some of them. I can't wait to put them together and get working on them. But I'm being strict with myself and getting these knights nailed. Dennis there, how are you, man? You okay? How's Uli? Is his friend getting better with his stomach? I hope so. Uh, yeah, let me know, man. Um, catch you guys next time you're in Oldham. Um, uh, Lucas the Trickster, nice one. Um, am I doing helmet stripes on the Space Wolf primary Lieutenant? If what colours? If so, are you talking to me or are you talking to iOS? Uh, if um, I haven't decided what I'd do if it was me, I haven't decided if I'm gonna do some Space Wolf primary or do Ultramarine, or even copy Paul Norton's. Iron Ravens, because they just look mint, and I love everything Paul Norton does. Absolutely love it. I think it's brilliant. Um, there we go. Um, Ezra Cat Abaddon, good evening. Uh, checkers ruin you. Um, you've got to know what choices to make. So the thing is with checkers, if you, there's two ways of doing checkers, or diamonds, or whatever, alternating, tessellating pattern, you, uh, you want to do. You can do them in grid form. Or you can do them one at a time. Now, if you do them in grid form and you're scruffy with that grid, you're going to end up with loads of different squares or diamonds or whatever of all different shapes and sizes, and it's going to drive you potty. So you need to make sure that that grid is amazingly precise. Um, again, that's how Max uh, Fledge does his. 
you make sure that the lines on the grid are as thin as possible. Um, <clears throat> now I, I'll do a grid if I'm going to do a three color um, diamond pattern. So like the Harlequins behind me there, if you look, they've got blue, they've got red, and then they've got black. That's three colors. Yeah, so you can do that diamond pattern. And then when you put the red and the blue in, you can then adjust the sizes. So there's one way of looking at it. Um, the next one is my preferred one, because I'm, I'm pretty quick at it now, is to do them a square or a diamond at a time. And you literally just go like that. You go boom, 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 boom. Fill it in. And then you neaten up as you go. You know, either way, you've got to do neatening up. Um, and that's when I do a two color pan. Um, so you're gonna have to get good either way, but start to, start to be steady. Close all the angles. That's what I'd recommend for for being steady. You know, so if you're one of these people that all holds the brush there, then don't hold the brush there. If you're one of these people that have the fingers all extended, I hold it like that because I know that a lot of people don't because you're just sacrificing all your quality. Hold closer, curling. Close all these angles close these angles yeah and even lean I like to lean on my knee a lot you know so um, close all them angles you'll find that you'll improve your accuracy will improve immediately use a shorter brush so if you, you think about it a small movement here is a bigger movement there so apply that that logic small movement there is a big movement there but not as much as it was there when the bristles are shorter again and again and again see what I mean so think about those things. <clears throat> uh, Night Lords, cool. Perfecting an army wide scheme. What do you mean perfecting an army wide scheme? Surely you need to only perfect a single man scheme and then knock it army wide. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, right, okay, I see Nate saying in our West having a conversation. All right, yeah, cool. Mr. Rich, how are you, man? You okay? Um, empowered, the comic book is excellent, particularly later issues, but hard to read while painting. Yeah, it kind of is. Um, so when I said manga, I should have said anime. You see, back in the day when I was young, it was all called manga because that was the name of the company that distributed it all. Um, and then this word anime started being banded around by all the people who knew, knew best, um, but we didn't care. I still call it manga, whether it's moving picture on a TV screen or whatever. Japanese cartoons of whatever nature are called manga to us oldies. So there you go. We all know how old school is. Appleseed, Battle Angel Alita. Yeah, Appleseed. Um, Appleseed's all right. It's a little. It's, it's almost too near the eighties for me, where it's a little bit cheese. Battle Angel. Yeah, brilliant. Um, the same guy who did Battle Angel did a comic book series called um, Aquanite. That's a, that's a lot of fun. That is. I really enjoyed uh, Aquanite. Uh, Mr. Cornish, how are you? LK, how are you? Yeah, Paul Norton is hot as. Um, as that, <laughs> try not to say book or fugger again. I seem to fail miserably every time. Um, do -do -do. While there is loads of comments, well, I think I'm at the end again. Angel of the Plague, evening, how are you? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll, how are you, man? Are you alright? Um, Tommy and my dad both say the same thing to me. You're going to have to get good either way. Yeah, but there's, there's certain things that help you get good. That's the bit to remember like blindly practicing oh just lots of practice lots of practice well if you're practicing the wrong thing again and again all you're doing is reinforcing that wrong thing again and again what you do is you start practicing using very analytical and logical decisions like closing the angles like i said with these things you know so so start thinking like that um all right i'm gonna sling some more wash on some more giant robot parts how does that sound? And you guys can uh, can watch me do that again. Wash on the robot parts. Uh, let me get in that position so you guys can look over my shoulder again. Do, 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 do. Practice with purpose. Break it all essentially. Uh, yeah. Right. I will 
was that was that enough to zoom in let's just check see where my hands get to while I'm painting alright ok let's give myself some room there good stuff oh, ok Um, let's do some giant hockey pads. Just some giant hockey robot. There we go. Um, let's start here. Too much on my brush there, so I just neaten that line up. I'm gonna go in there. What I'm gonna do is literally, I'm just gonna go in there quite deliberately scruffy because I just want to show you. Wash my brush and then I'm just gonna take that out. And there's a nice neat line. Job done, easy peasy. Yeah, right along, let the brush just fall in there. See this is too much. So I'm just, I'm just gonna get it all around the edge quick. Bash all that bit in quick. I'm gonna use that just to remove it a little bit there. Nice one. Job done. And then get the edge in. Nice one. Now, if I was painting at a display standard for this, um, my attitude towards how I approach this would change completely, by the way. Um, I'd probably be using paint, not a wash. I'd say probably. I'd be using paint, not a wash. And I would... Um, be using a better brush than this cheap thing again for those that have just joined in I'm only using this cheap thing to demonstrate to you that you don't need to spend a bomb on brushes it's the first time I've used it by the way as well it's not like I sit here every night just using cack I don't I generally use pretty good stuff again I can only uh, say how much I like the Element Games brushes again I'm not sponsored by them or not like that so I'm just trying to plug anything I want to tell you what's good for you, by the way. That's, or at least what I use. I'm only ever want to be honest and open with uh, the information I give. That's not to say that I don't save some things for my students, because I can't give spoilers away now, can I? scruffy there but happy with that so that'll all get weathered up later on that all right let's do hockey pad number two uh, let's keep blue tack up on my lamp up here so i can uh, always just attach things at a moment's notice do is I'll get all this out of the way with first actually because this is the bit where I can be a lot more free by free I mean scruffy On the red, I'm going to be a little bit more careful. So I might just do the tops of these and then go in and just do the side with a smaller brush. Because the red is a lot harder to, to neaten up and recreate. Red is a very unforgiving colour. It makes it even more unforgiving when I, uh, when I airbrush it. And this is airbrushed, this one. Yeah, 
rarely use an airbrush. Unless it's something really, really demanding, like a night, as quick as possible, as nice and as smooth as possible. There we go. Nice one. Notice with the black one because I had a black half. Um, notice on the black half it was a lot scruffier. I just allowed myself a little bit of freedom, a little bit of respite from holding on to uh, the control. Um, and that just allows me to speed up, really. There's no point being slow where you don't have to be slow. Unless your objective is to be dead neat. Did you hear me breeze out then as I did that line? Recommend that, by the way. I'll make a noise. It helps you do the line. Which might sound crazy to some of you, but there you go. Got a bit of red on me, silver there. I have to get turned into rust. Hey, nice one. Might as well do that. Nice one. Happy with that. Let's get the bottom in as well. Nice. Let's go back to this one. Right, let's see what else you've all said. Um. Down a bit. <laughs> right, okay. Have I tried the gloss washes for stuff like those panels? Um, no, I haven't. Um, not yet. Not like them panels, but... Um, I won't do at the moment for these anyway because these have to match the army I'm currently working on for nights. You know, so once I've done these nights, that'll be uh, 11, 10, 10 nights in total. Um, so yeah, they're all going to be uh, uh, they're all going to be roughly the same. So yeah, although all the reds and all the nights have ended up different. Um, Jonathan Gulliman, are you here? Okay. I bet on the when I, when I upload this to Facebook, I bet it's going to look really weird because no one can see the comments when I upload it to Facebook. And for those that don't know that I am, I do upload these to Facebook. Uh, not Facebook, sorry, YouTube. I do upload them to YouTube if I, if I've got enough room to download them onto my phone. Okay, Nate Satan asks, do I ever get names for my models as I'm painting? Like during assembly, they are Tychophexy and Perita, but while you start thinking of it. But while painting, start thinking of it as Rodney. Um, I generally come to little conclusions like that when I'm doing freehand and heraldry um, for the nights, anyway. Um, all the models I might already have a plan in mind, um, but you never know when inspiration will strike. You never know. Let's wave to Lone Wolf. Um, what do I use to keep the peace? Jonathan Gulliman says. Um, what do you mean, mate? What do you mean? 
uh, Nate Saint a gloss finish can be a bit jarring over matte paint but I think it works on Mechanicus areas tanks tracks and stuff just my humble opinion but I used to black line style yeah alright yeah I can well I'm pretty sure that um, Paul Norton was using gloss on his Iron Ravens um, so there you go um, oh thank you Nate Satan I'm glad you like the way it looks I assume you're talking about what it is I've just done watching me paint is hypnotic um, <laughs> look into my eyes try not to it's, it'll do weirdness down there um, right okay I'm going to get back and do a bit more painting Right, let's uh, squeeze you down there a bit. Zoom you all in a bit. Right, there we go. Um, no, I can stay like that. Let's do his crotch panel I don't even know why really I'm doing this back panel just for the sake of uh, consistency because you can't see it on the model saved me or rather my choice of the angle of the brush saved me right, get that line in there let's get all the lines in now see just let a little bit just fall off over the lip and then run it up mm. we, we all can see you Nice one. Q can go there. Um, right. Oh, the blue shack. I say blue, it's white, but whatever. to me brush off so you can see better Like how once you get the wash into that gap, the contrast really makes the red start to pop. Quite a satisfying uh, little result. That. There we go. One of them. 
we've done. I'm starting to run out of things here to shove my pieces on. So let's let's grab an air dryer. Just put this cart under the wheels on my chair. people say it's all good practice yes it is here's a question for you if you guys could see me paint one games workshop model what would you like to see me paint not that I'm gonna but you might inspire me And when I say paint, I mean to the best of my ability. Oh, I see that bit of paint there. Do you know what I'm going to do now that I've got that mistake on the red? Is go yay, and I have an excuse as to where some battle damage is going to go. I don't freak out and go nuts about... You made a mistake and crap at it. I'd celebrate it. It's an opportunity to learn something new. Get better at painting. Yeah, start embracing the negatives as opportunities. That sounds all positive meme but I tell you what, that shit works. Or rather, person in charge of that shit works that makes sense are you all seeing okay by the way this weird habit of moving while I'm painting it's not natural for me to sit and lean on the table I normally lean on my knee you know I'm just being like this so you guys can see what's happening And again, for those guys that turn up late, I'm using like one of the cackiest brushes in the world. Just to show you guys that you can do it. It's how you use it that counts, lads. There you go. And ladies, I suppose. Turning through this quite happily. Nice, nice. Oh, um, Vallejo Chrome, Vallejo Silver, by the way, through an airbrush. Do, 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 do. Why are these? There's something about the shape of these that's pretty cool. Although, no, look at it, it looks like some kind of set of underpants from HEMA Demon Rich that's like a that's a that's not just a you'd like to see me do it that is a challenge that are you challenging me there mate is that what's happening because that's that's your that's your territory that what kind of freehand do you reckon? You, you've piqued me interest now. I never expected that. Is it a challenge or is it just like a genuine passion of yours? To Obviously, it must be a passion of yours because that's what you do. You know. Um, let's have a look, see who else is. You have you proper excited me there a little bit, mate. You have... 
Um, Nate saying, is the centre panel Mithril Silver? No, um, like I said, Vallejo Air, Chrome or Silver. Um, I've got a bottle of both and I can't tell the difference. Um, doo -ba -doo 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 -doo. I think that when it's finished it'll look the 3D effects for sure. Well, let's hope so. As long as it looks cool, then, I, then I'm happy, you know. Um, Knight covered in freehand. Probably like an Eldar Farsi or Wraith Lord. Lots of room to show off, but still universal. Modeling flat panel armor and gems and lenses. Um, yeah. Well, I've actually got a uh, part done Eldar character based on based on Eldrad. For my Harlequins, and that's this dude here. Oops. Let's uh, let's zoom in. <laughs> if we can get him. There we go. That's better, isn't it? Better coloration. Come on. Try to get him a zoom. Focus on the actual model. It's tricky, isn't it? But yeah. There's a clearer picture down in my gallery somewhere. Anyway. Um. But yeah, modelled on Eldrad. Good old bit of blending round the back there. Yeah, so I went round the full spectrum of colours. Jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there is a picture of him, like I've run my Facebook page or further down in my gallery, just at this stage, you know, and uh, try again with. Right, colours is, is hard. It's all a bit overexposed, isn't it? Because the lamp. Oh, I can't do that. No, that might be a bit better. There you go. So, uh, when I come back to my Harlequins, um, when I come back to my Harlequins, I'll uh, obviously crack on with this guy, you know. But this was the last time I started painting a, 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 a more high end level. Um, but you know, certain things distracted me. Between that and working away as well, I ended up working away for months with Games Workshop, you know, which was great. And then when I came back, I was all giddy for for nights at Necromunda, um, building my board, you know. So all those things are just up on my shelf there, you know. So there you go. But have you seen what's on my shelf? Have I ever shown you the... Yeah, let's uh, go into some detail about some other stuff on my shelf. So I was looking after a uh, Games Workshop Macclesfield and one of the guys wanted to know how quick I could paint. So I did this guy, like two hours work, smashed him out just with a load of spray. Now you, you, you could be clever with sprays. So can you see these bits here? So I sprayed in black first, and then from all these kind of directions, I sprayed the fang spray. So can you see the cooler areas underneath him? Yeah, cooler areas underneath him. That pop then was my amp. Cooler areas underneath him, yeah. Then I go around with um, Death Guard Green and kind of spray from this kind of band. Yeah, so that then will leave. And, and from above, a little bit. And then a little bit, some patches of Zandri Dust and um, Storm Vermin Fur. And then finally a little of Avalon Sunset there. You know, and that's this guy pretty much done. And then I'll go in and paint everything metal and everything else brown. You know, so this Mornfang Brown is the colour. Uh, Mornfang Brown, and then base coats, the, the other things. These just get a quick, like, heavy kind of dry brush. A slightly wetter dry brush than dry brushing, just so you get some of these streaks on. Um, everything else just gets base coated as quick as possible. And then the whole, entire thing is washed in a mix of um, Agrax and the dark blue uh, nightshade. Um, and you don't quite mix it, like, let, let the mix be inconsistent. Um, and then and that's that. So we can get some good colours on him again. But again, there's this picture of this guy in my gallery. So two hours. Now there was a few of these things lurking down in in the basement for that store. Um, 
half an hour, 25 minutes, something like that. Same thing, so you can see the fang, the cooler colours underneath. There we go. Cooler colours underneath, exact same colour process. You know, just smash it out. Made me think about doing an entire army in a day. Well, oh, come on, zoom in. Focus. Oh, it just won't have it, will it? It just won't have it. Looks like you're a fat cousin. Brilliant. L, you're a cool dude. Got to admit. Um, and then I spent a little bit more time painting up this guy with a giant schnoz. Um, yeah, I don't think you're going to see the detail on this guy that well. Yeah. How about now? Is this right? Is this better? Is this good? And sloppy bar piper. Yeah. All a lot of fun. You know, generally chaos isn't my bag, um, but I really enjoy painting those things. So, yeah, really grateful I got that chance. So, yeah, painting can be good and quick. Remember that, good and quick. Okay, let's go back through all these things. Um, Demon Rich. Yes, you do. You love freehand, but it would be interesting to see how I would go about it and make all the freehand work on the model. Um... Yeah, I'd like to find that out and all. That um, Elder Farce, he's going to be covered in freehand. Not necessarily pictures and motifs like you would use, but obviously he's going to have uh, diamonds, going to have Eldar runes and things like that. Um, I'm not the artist you are, so um, part of me kind of kind of thinks, oh, I should try and do it your way. But then at the same time, the sensible thing would be to do it my way because that's what you want to see. So, yeah, I'm up for that, actually. Yeah, um, maybe on my next model um, that I do at that level. Um, so, yeah. Uh, who next? Nate Satan. Yeah, lots of freehand light, the Night of Flowers. Weirdly, I was looking at him in work today. Somebody asked me what it is I did. Um, and I had to show him that. Um, and, yeah, the... the uh, what was it? Violent Forcing of the Frog by Hieronymus Bosch. Getting that into like the, this thumb-sized cloak. In fact, it's less than thumb-sized cloak. Kind of taking the key elements from that and condensing it down into a cloak size. That was a lot of fun, that. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Nate Satan, half and half like flowery and eagle. Decayed flowers, skull and scroll work. Then, you know, fantastic historic. Yeah. Night of Flowers and a 40k Futurist in that. Okay, interesting. Another flower. I won't mind doing another, another flower night, actually. Um, but blending it... What do you mean, GMO paint? But blending is better, no, with water and stuff. Um, elaborate on that for me, because uh, that sounds like a, an interesting question. <laughs> Demon Rich says do it your way you can do it um, thank you right the timer at the top's just said I've got uh, 30 seconds remaining so I'm going to say thank you for tonight I hope you've learned something and at the very least I hope you've been entertained um, cheers I'll try and upload this to YouTube if this video is uh, is savable sometimes it isn't so um, thank you for coming Mikey Magic's just joined. Sorry, dude, the video is about to end anytime now.